Sarah has well, the I look question. Good. Look at yes, that. You do. You look really good. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep doing that and answer while you're doing it. But, um, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, I'm not sure people understand what it's like to be a touring comic, and okay. I don't either. So, can you tell us what life was like on the road earlier in your career? Okay, well, it's definitely different than later. You know what I'm saying? Like, when in your earlier career, like, you live off of chicken wings <laughs> and chicken wings and fries yeah. uh -huh. and cheap hotels. Yeah. You know, you, really you learn... And before, as a woman, as a woman, I always would, like, tell them I need the hotel room that's inside of the hotel, yeah. not yes, the ones with see. the door on the outside. Yes. Because... And I love y'all, but if the club is across the street from the hotel, People do come to your door. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh no, it's very dangerous for women. You yeah. know, and, and I say this all the time. I don't know if I've said this to you. Is that, you know, male comics? When you're on the road with a female, mm. look out for her. Yeah. yeah. Because like she's not just dealing with you. She's dealing with the promoter. She's mm. dealing with all the males that come to the club that think just because she's on stage talking the way she's talking that she obviously wants to be, you know, harassed. Mm. So it's it's like it's it's uh, it's a hard thing, but I'm six feet tall anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and with the heels, you're even taller. You have that benefit. That's the one thing I have never not had to worry about <laughs> is somebody thinking they' about to run up. <laughs> ah, I'm like the Hulk. I'm always angry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we love when you guest host The Daily Show and you're yeah. up next week. You're Aww. so much fun. And what I like is you do serious topics too, but you make them light. And you don't shy away from politics. You you're follow right. politics closely so good and it. you'll hit either side. What made you want to work that more into your humor in the last few years? Well, honestly, because I just learned about it. When I went to SNL, okay, before SNL, like New, just New York, period, you guys are really smart about politics and stuff. Like, y'all really are on that. Like, California, we <laughs> over there smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the swimming pools, right. sun tanning. We ain't really into it, right? So when, when I got to SNL, there were so many things that I learned about that I didn't even know. Like, seriously, the electoral college, I didn't know about that. I was just, don't... I know you're going to be mad when I say this. I did think it was a college college. I thought... <laughs> You thought the electoral college I thought that, college. that, you know, the, the people got to go there before they become a politician. <laughs> oh, I wish that, that were the case. Smart, Listen, <laughs> the people voting for Trump should go to college. Okay, college. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's, that's things like that to learn all that type of stuff. I feel like when I'm uh, commentating and live tweeting and stuff, I am talking from y'all perspective. Mm. Because there's a lot of... And, and listen to me very closely, politicians! Because <laughs> you know what's going on. There's a lot of people that don't understand what's going on. You guys, we, there's a group of us that don't go talk to the manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a group of us that, that'll be like, no, manager, come over here, this didn't taste good. But there's a lot of us that'll be like, I'm just not gonna come back here no more. We need to start talking to the manager. Yeah. yeah. Do oh, you understand? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pay attention. Only a third of this country is voting. Only a third of the country is voting. Only a third of the country is voting. Yeah. Only a third of the country <laughs> is voting! It's a shame. <laughs> available now on Audible and wherever books are sold. And you know what? Y'all don't have to go out and get the book because we're giving you a copy.